Every year, Joy Cato celebrates her birthday twice, one on the day she was born and the other the day she had a mastectomy done, which she believes saved her life. Cato said she was not diagnosed with breast cancer by a self-breast examination, but when she visited her gynecologist, having reached 50 years and seeking ways to avoid menopause issues. After hormonal replacement was opted for, a mammogram was compulsory, and that was when a breast tumor was discovered. It became clear that I had two spots on my breasts, one on either breast. So biopsies were recommended. Biopsies were done and it turned out that on my left breast I had a tumor. The right breast was just cystic, fleshy, fatty stuff. Kato said she knew nothing about breast cancer except from reading about it, and when it came to making a decision for surgery, she was told to ask her husband, which did not sit too well with her. My attitude was, this is my breast, this is my body, this is not my husband's. So I didn't see why I had to get his okay, his authority, whatever. I was very specific. This breast is going. End of story. Her surgery was successful and subsequently 15 sessions of radiology was done in addition to medication. These little tablets were extremely expensive in St. Vincent and that they were not readily available. So we found out that we could get them out of St. Kitts, I think. I think it was St. Kitts at way, 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 way lower cost. So that is how I was getting the tamoxifen. And April, I did the radiation therapy, and that I did in Barbados. Kato still does her regular checks, including self-examination. Her advice, however, is for every woman to have a gynecologist, and if they can't afford it, visit a clinic to have a nurse do a breast examination. I have been doing my breast examinations there, guys. I still can't figure out how this thing really is supposed to work. So I will go to the clinic and... The nurse will do the examination. Kato does not regret her decision to have a mastectomy and is not afraid to share her experience as she proudly wears a prosthesis. There are ways of dealing with that matter because, um, and I mean, I don't think anybody could look at me and tell that I only have one breast. And even if I say and they look, they are not going to see because the prosthesis is going to be the same size as the healthy breast, if you will. So if you put it on properly on the bra, not lopsided, you know. Kato's experience may not be the same for every breast cancer survivor. However, making an informed decision based on medical advice is key to beating breast cancer, especially when it is at an early stage. And they need to ask questions. They need to ask. If you don't understand, ask. Don't mat you, you can't, no matter how foolish you think you sound, ask the question. For SBGTV News, Larissa Pogslicket.